this demonstration, I show you how to configure email parameters and send email by using SMTP protocol from Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations app. I also briefly show you how to configure Microsoft Exchange Server configuration parameters for the synchronization with Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations app. In the first section, I need to configure email parameters. In order to do so, I navigate to the menu and select System Administration. I expand Setup, Email, and select Email Parameters. We need to be acquainted with these fields. The behavior of the email subsystem is influenced by a combination of administrator and user configurations, as well as the user choices. Both administrators and users set the behavior of the email systems. On the email parameters page within the configuration tab, the first field we need to notice is batch email provider, which specifies which email provider will be used to send emails that are sent by processes in a batch or non-interactive manner. The exchange provider will use the account associated with the batch process. The attachment size limit field specifies the maximum size of a single email that can be sent via email subsystem. As you see, the following formats are supported. I select HTML 4.0 and click OK. Dalek box appears processing the customer statement to be sent. The info bar indicates that the report has been sent via email as an attachment successfully. Let's verify that. By switching back to my Outlook, you notice that I've received an email from Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation with the subject matter of customer statement. And the statement has been indeed added as an attachment. By previewing this specific attachment, I can see the statement for the selected customer. Within this page, currently I'm only showing the fields related to the contacts. I can use the default mapping or modify to specify which field will be copied from Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations app to update the corresponding field in Microsoft Exchange only as unidirection or grab the data from Microsoft Exchange and bring it over into Finance and Operation or do a bidirectional by selecting full synchronization. By going through this demonstration, you learned how to configure Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations SMTP provider in order to be able to send email to external parties.